Alrighty, we're going to do video on bagels today. The first thing you want to do, the bagel dough is already made. We're just going to lower it down with this lever right here. And then you go up with this and turn until it comes back down. And then when, once it's done, just snap the bowl out like that and bring it over here. Normally you would flour the board, but you don't want to put too much flour on because if you do, the dough is going to roll around on it. And if it rolls around on it, then you're not going to be able to roll it out. And I'll show you what that means. So we're just going to put a little over here. And you want to get all the dough out with one of these and leave it so it's kind of in a long thing like on that other video so you can cut off big long things of it. So it can be spread out a little like that. You're done with that. Now what you need is the wooden handled scraper. And this is where you can put the bagels. You want to use pan spray. Spray down the whole pan. Then put bagels on this pan and get it out of the way and then spray the next one. So you want everything in close proximity so you're not overreaching or overextending. So what you want to do is cut off a measure of this and roll it out and learn how thin you have to roll it so you're going to get a bagel between six and seven ounces. So that's about what it takes for my hand. The way you roll it is you have the butt of your hand against the butt of the dough and you grab it and there's only one way that you can do it and have it turn out. You want to learn from the size of your hand and how thick you roll this where you have to pinch the dough off to get six to seven ounces. This feels like it might be a little too much. Right here you want to roll back and forth so that you get the whole thing mixed together instead of having something sticking out like that. And then you want to verify your weight. My weight is six and a half ounces, but I've been doing this for a while. So go back. And the way you roll, if you just go like this, it's never going to roll. The way you roll the dough out, let me get a thick one, is you pull and roll. Pull and roll. So there's two. And I went from being really thick to basically the correct length. This is a little thinner than what I'm used to, so you can get away with pushing a little up but I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I know that that's thin. Now, if we had a bunch of flour, it would just rub back and forth instead of rolling. So that's what I meant earlier. So you just wanna go side to side until you get all of it combined and then double check your weight. That's seven ounces, so that's good. You want it between six and seven ounces. This one feels like it's gonna be a little light. Yeah, that's just right around six, so that's good, but we don't want to go any lighter than that. So we're going to cut off another rope. You don't want to cut little squares and measure them. The way you're measuring this is by the size of the rope, the thickness of it, and how it goes around your hand. And once you get this down, then you can weigh it every other one, and then soon you can weigh it once a sheet pan, and then soon you can weigh it once a batch and soon you won't need to weigh it at all. So remember, this is thick. We want to stretch it out as we go along and then go back to anything that's thick and fix it so that you have a uniform one like that. If it's not uniform, your weight won't be the same. Come around, pinch it off. That was a little thick in one place, so I pinched it a little shorter than usual. And I have six and a half ounces. So onto the pan, back to the next one. And then once you get the whole pan done, so grab it, remember, with your base of your hand there, around like that. Adjust a little bit here for whether or not it's going to be too thick or too thin. Once you have the whole pan done, okay, that's six and a half ounces. So I can go to weighing every other one, and then soon I can go to weighing just once for a sheet pan. Once you get the sheet pan done, you want to get it out of your way. You can put it on this table right here. If you happen to have a bowl in the mixer, this will hold a tray just like that. You don't want to put an awful lot of weight on here because it will damage the lid. But once you get all these done, then you're going to go back and decorate them, and then they go back into the retarder, they proof overnight, and bake them off the next morning. It's easy. So you just need to practice getting the rope the same thickness. See, if I did that right now, it would be way too thick. And if I did that one, it would be way too thin. And if you just sit here and roll it, it won't get any thinner. 
So just remember to pull it out like that. See, that's perfect. That's just where we want it. Go around to the thickness that we want. We'll let that sit right there. While we do our pan, that's six ounces, so that's good. The reason that you don't use parchment paper is overnight, these will stick to the parchment paper. And then the next day, you have to pull the parchment paper off each one. So this is good again. And we'll go around like that. This one feels a little light, but it's six ounces, so we're good. And I'm just going to demonstrate doing one that's too thick. If you do one that's too thin, just fold the dough in half. Let's take this one. Just fold the dough by, back in half and put it back into the bunch and cut it out again. If you do one that's too thick, I'll do this one, which is going to be way too thick. Instead of giving up on it, see that's way too thick. You could just come back in and trim the sides off like that and that's fine. Don't worry about these because when it proofs up, those will all go into the dough. So that's at eight ounces, it's still a little thick. So just go to the thickest spaces and just cut a little bit off and that'll probably be at seven right now. No, that's still a little thick. So we'll just take one more off and that can go right there and it's fine. When it proofs up, it'll turn around. So that's all there is to it. A little bit of practice and you'll be able to have everyone perfect just like mine were between six and seven ounces. Thanks for watching. See you next video.